Um, really good thing about this is that we don't really need to worry too much about measuring out um, ingredients using scales or, you know, basically all we have is we've got cups, we've got tablespoons, that's all we need. So let's get started. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the fruit and keep the fruit to the side to start with. Now there's a third of a cup roughly of sultanas. Let's them in here. We're going to use about a third of a cup of cum. There we go. And they pop. Now next is the candied citron. Now, I don't have candied citron, but I've got mixed fruit, so that'll have to do. Two thirds of a cup. And that pops. And finally, an uh, exciting ingredient for me is we've got some cherries. Now we're looking for if the cherries is about a third of a cup. Now it's just going to stick to the cup, so I'm just going to guesstimate. That looks like it. The next thing that we have is we've got milk. Now we need to have some warm milk up to around about 50 degree temperature. What we're using is two thirds of a cup of milk. That'll do. And it pops into a milk pan. Give it a little bit of heat. A tablespoon. Yeast. And milk. We pour milk in. It's two thirds of a cup. We're going to go for a tablespoon of yeast. That's roughly right. Now, just have to wait 10 minutes. The next thing which we're going to start doing is starting to add the ingredients to make this into a bread. Now, most currently we've got the fruit, we're going to add that in later. Um, next, it's going to be adding in some of the ingredients. So, we've got an egg. So, the idea is what we're going to do is we're going to beat it well as we're putting in each individual item. seven tablespoons and it pops. So quick whisk around. There we go. Next a half tablespoon of salt. There we go. That's it. And the next is saying about a third of a cup of butter. Now I don't know quite how this is supposed to fit in here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a third of the pack of butter which sounds just about right. Cutting it up slightly just to make it easier for it to dissolve. Right. We're going to put in an old trusty cup. We've got red flour, white red flour. We're just going to put in uh, two cups at the moment. It's going to be two and a half cups eventually. I'm just putting in the building blocks at the moment. Let's just, just sort of continuously see how everything's getting on as we're mixing it in. Just carefully dusting it on the top. The mixture. Yeah, pour a cup. Let's see if you're paying attention. Getting on really well, actually. There's a few bits of butter here. giving a brief dusting over the table. So as we start to knead it, it doesn't stick to the table. Let's okay. It's time to get gooey and start kneading this. Okay, we're back again. Right. We've done for about eight minutes of kneading. It's now looking very interesting. Um, now what we're going to do is we're now going to transfer it onto an oiled baking tray we're going to leave it for an hour. During that time, what's going to happen is that yeast, which we put in earlier, is going to build it up 
but make it slightly larger. And at that stage, I'm going to put in the marzipan. Now we're going to take an hour for this process, so let's just get started on it. Now, one of the things that we have is we are going to cover it with a damp cloth. Now, as you know, that stuff's sticky. Um, so all I'm going to do is just use an infamous cup. Turn it full of hot water. And dip it in a paper towel in it. That's going to be great just to cover over the top of the cake. Now you're probably thinking, where can we keep it? Let's put, place it in the oven that's not on at the moment. That would seem a very good logical place to have it. Now we're going to oil this. Again, there's various options we can do. I'm just going to spread it out with a little paper towel. I'm going to use this paper towel in any case. It just means that the top is also oiled as well. There we go. Fold it up. Place it in the cup for a second. That's where it's mixed you over. Not sticking that much. Place it on. Spread it out. Don't touch. Now that's somewhat. There we go. Very loosely over the top, it's probably going to try and stick, so we all will make it. It's going to be incorporating the uh, marzipan into it, which wasn't turned on, remember. That's a stone. And in order to figure out what length we're looking for, we're wanting to have the marzipan placed into a spherical shape. And we're wanting to look for a bit of length of cloth. Place the cloth on here. We know roughly that's the full length of the greased surface. Let's work the marzipan into a dough, into a bowl first of all. And we're just going to start working it into a cylindrical shape. That's it. So we've placed it on the mixture. The only point is now lifting a mixture off the sides because we want this at the base almost so to nip it at the edge give it a good seal there we go and we've now got the exposed seal all we want to do now is try and this cake. So see this now at the base. Okay, that's it. Another job done. 40 minutes, no heat, back in the oven just to let it rest and rise. Right, this is another 40 minutes later. We peel back the cover. That's it pretty much ready. Preheated the oven at 175 degrees Celsius. And we're going to keep it in for 10 minutes and then we're going to reduce it for 150 degrees Celsius. And it's going to be 30 or 40 minutes after that for it to be ready. Which is all plump. Give it some time to cool down, so now it's just a case of getting a quick dusting. And cinnamon. So Brief dusting over top of it and icing sugar. There we go. Grab a spoon, 